In a time when the world is full of distractions and we're out of our normal routine, like we see right now, this is the time when it's most difficult to stay focused and motivated. Today I'm gonna to share with you three tips on how to stay focused and motivated in these distracting times. In a time where our lives are basically in disarray, you know, the things and the routines that we've had in the past are not the same anymore. You know, I had a routine. I would get up and I would go work out and I would go to my office and I would do these things in a routine and I got to a place where I was very comfortable. Right now, with everything going on in the world, we're at a place where how do we continue to maintain our focus and motivation when everything's been disrupted? So what I want to do today, I love the way that Chris Stewart, CEO for Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, puts it. He said we have to control the controllables. What are the areas of your life that you can control? The first one is this, your physical health. What are you doing to maintain your health through this time? How are you eating? Has your diet changed? Putting some, place, some things in place that'll make sure that you're continuing to break a sweat every day, simple things like that. What is it that you're doing on maintaining your diet in a way that is healthy? You see, when you control those things and you come from a place where your physical health is not deteriorating, but actually even possibly getting better, now every area of your life is gonna get better. The second thing is our mental health. What is it that you're focusing on? Are you watching the news all day and feeling like the world's coming to an end? Um, or are you focusing spending time with people that are positive, that are uh, trying to stay healthy mentally during this time and looking to what this looks like going forward. Let me give you one little practical tip. Um, and I did this a number of years ago. What I found is, is that everything that I focus on expands. So I want to just, I, I still do this, I did it this morning. When I hit, when I wake up and my first foot hits the floor, I say thank. And then my second foot hits the floor, I say you. And I walk it out, thank you, thank you. I would encourage you, sit down and make a list of 100 things you're thankful for. Sit down and think about the things that are good in your life. When you focus on those things, your mental health is going to stay healthy. Not only that, you're gonna to begin to see more of the things that you're thankful for, even during a time when we've got everything going a little bit crazy around us. The third area of our life that we can control is our business health. Now listen, we can't control the number of showings or the number of uh, listings we take at this time. We can't control a lot of things that we may have been able to do in the past, but what we can do is we can get organized and prepared for when this passes. What are the areas of your business that you've been saying, if I just had enough time, I would do this? You know, if you don't have a database that's in good, that's in good order, now's the time to get that in good order. If you don't have a situation where you have a business plan for the rest of the year, now's the time to get that business plan together. If you've thought about, maybe this is the time that I need to start doing video, now's the time to lean into that. Whatever it is, the area of your business that has maybe been in a little disarray, now's the time to organize it. Now's the time because as we know, when this passes, we are probably at a place where it's gonna be difficult here for a little while. But when we get come through this, just about every economist I hear realizes that when we come through this, there's probably gonna be a spurt of economic activity once we clear this. Make sure you're preparing yourself and your business in a way that the health of your business is ready for that growth that's to come at the end of this year. Ultimately, we can't control what's going on in the world. What we can control is how are we reacting to it. What are you doing and what are you thinking about in a way that moves this forward once we're able to come through this? Is it gonna be difficult for a little while? Absolutely. Is it something that, with, that will pass? Absolutely. Today, I just want you to think about these things. What are the areas that you're thankful for? Who are the people that you're getting to spend more time with? I know for me personally, the time that I'm able to spend with my family right now is time that I will never forget. There's gonna be times that I'm gonna look back and remember on this once we come through it, where I'm gonna look back and think about the family dinners that we're having more than we've had in a long time right now. I'm gonna think about the times where my family spent time playing board games, talking, sitting around doing some of the things that I wanna do as my family, but just life has been too busy. This is the time where when you really focus on the people that are closest to you, that are around you, and you stay healthy, when we come out of this, you're gonna be poised for a tremendous amount of growth. I hope this is helpful, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. I specifically chose the video below for you because it builds on the one you just watched. I hope it's helpful, and I'll talk to you soon.